Hey, what's up, guys? Rajat here from World of VFX. Today, we'll talk about the newly launched update from Makina Infinitum Ultima Pack. And this time, they did a great job with the fractals you can see right in front of your screen. Absolutely spellbound. So, this tutorial is kind of an overview video, or you can call this as a tutorial. So let's start today's video. So right now we are in Epic Games Marketplace and you can find this AMI Ultima. And uh, starting the video, I just want to mention that this video is completely sponsored by Makina Infinitum. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. So you can see this is one 5.1, but don't worry. Once you double click, they are asking for select your Unreal version. Select the version which you really want. Here I am using 5.3 because I just love this. And then just press OK and it will copy it to 5.3 and it will open all right we just started the unreal engine and uh, you can see once you open the project file you can find this get started uh, some details like set output velocity to off in project settings for the current fractal rendering it's important so whatever they told here make sure you need to follow that so go to edit project settings and you need to type this output one output velocity to simply type O U T P U T output and then space velocity. I did it already, so that's why you can find this output velocity uh, on vertex. Uh, this called off, but make sure if you find this on, you need to turn this off. And now I don't think there is nothing need to change. So first of all, once you go to this MI Ultima, you can find all these options. One is map, blueprints functions materials and lots of things like textures niagara render settings and you can find total seven layers or seven levels one two three four and then this two and this all have their separate separate build data uh, so now let's start with the first one which is this box brought just a double click and it will load and it will open it it's very fast crisp and clear so once you open you can find just like this i'm just closing this sequencer so that you can watch this full screen and look at this absolutely amazing uh infinita team just i just want to mention that whatever you did it just amazing it's feel like an outer space kind of a thing so once you just move it's very fast moving so just go here you can decrease the camera speed so that you can move slower but they said something unique. You just need to go to this camera view. Simply select the camera, right click and pilot camera. Now whatever you're watching, it's actually watching from the camera view. And look at the changes between camera view and the normal view. It's absolutely spellbound. Just press G on your keyboard to hide all this, uh, you know, settings and all. So just go to this BP Brox bot and you can find these details over here. By the way, you can move anywhere you want with this camera view and you can see the depth of field you can really want, you can change it. So let me show you how you can change the depth of field. Just go to the Cine Camera Actor, go to Focus Distance and let's change it slightly. And this is amazing. I'm just, I'm just telling it many times, but yes, it's amazing. So let's turn on this BP Brox and let's see what they are added here. Starting with the box irritation, if you increase it, what exactly happened the irritations are increasing i'm just moving a little out so that you can see all the irritations properly so once you change these irritations basically uh, it's detailing so if you increase you can see lots of details if you decrease it to one you can see very few details so it's all based on your system configuration i'm once i increase this my system start loading and the gpu start you know the sound like ooh, just kind of a thing all right, so box scale is very important. So if I decrease it, you can see the fractals are getting updated. It's absolutely normal. Once you increase the box scale, you can see all the changes. And again, it's all depend on your irritation. If you make it to three, the box scale will change. All updated and in fact, all are linked together. So this is called box fold. If you change it and let's see what exactly happening. Okay, this looks cool and uh, box minimum radius. Okay, this radius is basically using to increase the fractals and all. And this is called box smoothness. I don't want the smoothness, let it down. Okay, next is the alpha twist, the most important part. If you increase, you can animate this as well. This is a twist kind of a thing. You can literally animate in X axis, also in Y axis, in Z axis as well. So yes, you can animate this. And there are a lot of things, by the way, not only this, if you go down, you can find like wave frequency. 
so if you increase this this will become a wave kind of a thing okay so next is like chaos and and uh, wave radius so whatever wave you are using that can control with this wave radius and there are a lot of things you just go and check it out i'll just show you the next layout or next map which is this box boxel brought to basically this is using the same same uh, fractal for this with the different settings so if you notice this looks absolutely same but again in different different settings so if i'll go to this again with the camera view this will look completely changed just look at this amazing again i'm telling i am just mesmerizing with the outputs and all and literally it's blow my mind so let's change with the settings and let's see how exactly it will work so if i'll go up and uh, let's see beta twist and let's see uh nice 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 uh, z axis it's too cool okay so if i'll go here you can see the focus is in this area this is out of focus and the most important part is like it feels like a micro level okay so it's feel like we are in infinite micro level uh, with the proper focus defocus thing and all which actu actually uh, very fascinating as a vfx artist this kind of thing really fascinating all right so yes this is same like a previous one so let's jump into the next one which is box pin sky ski whatever i'm sorry for my pronunciation i'm indian so in india pronunciation is bit understand okay this feels like a doctor strange kind of a movie set or whatever you can call this but it is nice again you can find uh, the lot of settings but if you notice this kind of going disappear this all happened for the irritations if i'll go here and you can find all the settings that's infinite actually it's n number of places where you can go so let's view it from camera right click and uh, pilot camera and here you can find all the settings from the camera view so just check the camera view so they just made this camera as a, like a wide angle lens kind of a thing so if i'll go here there is no focus because this is actually a wide range of thing so just select this and let's see what kind of changes they made here so if i'll increase or decrease the box scale okay okay it will update it just like this it feels like a mirror world kind of a thing so just leave it to box fold okay this folding infinite fold box twist so basically all the settings are almost same but what do you need to do you need to just make sure you need to update it based on your preference okay so see there are i just see this option called moody one so okay 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 this looks nice this looks really nice in fact i really love this look this moody 01 and all cool really cool i love this in fact i love this better than the last one so let's try the next one okay this one is my favorite and uh, when i saw the video then also this looks fascinating so if we'll go like this if you see very like a city kind of a thing but once you increase the camera speed let's increase this camera speed somewhere around 3 so it's disappear okay so it's all happen for the irritations so go up so just simply increase it to 16 and now you can see all the details and once you increase this your gpu will start loading okay make sure uh my gpu is already start sounding and then you can find this okay it's too heavy too heavy yes trust me this is too heavy and uh, if i'll decrease the scale it to 1 and now it's i think okay it's completely disappear so it, let's make it to 3 and now you can see oh it's looking nice beautiful beautiful guys you guys did a great job love this love this hats off to this team they created this fractals in a next level two years earlier i when i made the video in my different channel called vfx world that time and this time they completely changed with their outputs all the settings create a different different outputs so no one will get a kind of a same output which is absolutely nice let's try the next one this is also a macro level shot so simply select the camera pilot camera hmm again again a good output not a good a great output see the depth of field it's amazing once you go back and go in all the focus simply mesmerizing all right let's change few settings and let's see what exactly they did here so if i'll go to this beta power okay this can decrease or increase the intensity of this okay alpha twist every time we'll get a new output 
गाइज आई हाईली रिकमेंड प्लीज गो एंड यूज दिस सुपर 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 ओके आई वी हैव लॉड ऑफ फ्रैक्टर्स ओवर हेयर बट आई एम नॉट कवरिंग अप हेयर बिकॉज इट विल टेक लॉड ऑफ टाइम बट येस एज अ फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन दिस लुक्स एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग एंड येस दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे एंड आई होप रूली इन्जॉयड दिस फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन वीडियो and if you if you if you want to buy this link is in description box below and make sure you need to purchase this and use this on your own project absolutely amazing and makina infinite team great job thank you so much for providing this and sponsoring this video my name is rajat see you in my next video in world of vfx channel till then keep watching keep rocking world of vfx thank you so much bye bye